you with the present. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it's, it does, but even better. What's the sine squared of theta plus the cosine squared of theta for this particular theta? One, it's one for every theta. So I don't even have to do anything. You should just be able to tell me that's one every time. That's the Pythagorean identity that you should have down to an art form before you're done with this class. Now, I'm pretty sure... I have a question. So on a test, we could just write one? And yeah. Okay. On that one, yeah. Okay. I know what I forgot to do. I fixed it. I added a problem, but I forgot to upload it. I gotta go find a problem I added. Let's, uh, it was a web work problem from this section, so let's find it.
So my cosine must be negative in order for the tangent to work out right, because the cosine is negative in quadrant 3. And then you can answer all the rest of them, because I'm pretty sure you're good at secants, cosecants, and cotangents with just flipping things over once you have the initial bunch. Questions about this? Next time we're going to talk about